Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Blake from Epiphone United, and welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Bet you forgot this existed, but there's going to be some explanation for why this is gone. Uh, actually, I'll give it to you right now. My disc was messed up, but I got it fixed, and you're about to see uh, how amazing this fix is. First of all, yeah, fucking movie clips. My disc has been completely fixed. This is the same disc as last time, right? Utapau underground ambush. Republic intelligence believes General Grievous is here on Utapau. General Kenobi has gone ahead himself to scout the planet, secure a landing area, and link up with Kenobi to crush the Separatists once and for all. Okay, so I got my disc fixed at a place called FX Game Exchange. They fix discs like brand spanking new. You could be freaking, you could power saw it, and they'll fix it. No scratches, 10 bucks. Trust me, it's good. Listen to this. In our bones, we knew the war was almost over. The galaxy held its breath, waiting to see which side would make the final daring move. As fortune would have it, the Republic moved first. After the Chancellor informed the Jedi Council that General Grievous and the Sep leaders were hiding on Utapal, General Kenobi gathered an army large enough to capture three star systems. When the orders reached the 501st, our morale soared. For better or worse, this would be the beginning of the end. So yeah, if you ever heard of him, never heard of him, FX Game Exchange. I know the one I went to is in Plano, but trust me, like I said, you can put your disc, you can just put, take a buzzsaw to your disc. Make it brand spanking new for five bucks. And they said ten earlier, it was five bucks. So it's ten minutes, five dollars, turn a scratched up disc into something amazing. I mean, this is awesome. I had the ending cutscenes back. I haven't had the ending cutscenes and the movie scenes for years on this disc. This is amazing. So yeah, uh, this is actually going to be almost like a charity-driven Let's Play episode. Um, next thing I want to talk to you about, I know I mentioned it in the first episode, but I want to mention it again because it's a really good campaign. That, oh god, missiles. <laughs> it's a really good campaign and it really easy to get some attention. Uh, on Facebook, ah, you almost got splattered. I can't freaking talk to this Let's Play. Just trying to get some chatting out game. Here, try to get less action -y. Um, definitely, you need to go to Facebook. Get a Facebook. Like the page. I'm going to link it in the description. Like the page. Who else wants Star Wars Battlefront 3? Great campaign. And Battlefront 3 would be, a, I mean, Battlefront 3 would be a great thing. I don't see why it hasn't come out yet. I don't see why Disney can't see the, the profit value. I, that's the problem I have with companies these days. No companies can see the profit value in anything. Fucking battle droid. They can't see the profit value in anything. I mean, seriously, freaking releasing Star Wars Angry Birds shit and canceling 1313 and closing LucasArts and ending the Clone Wars. That's not going to help you. It's not going to help your popularity. It's going to reduce your sales. And it's, I don't know, some people are just boneheaded. Disney... No exception. But seriously, if we got some company, if we got Pandemic back, or if they didn't want back, we can get another good company. We could we could make something like this, which is for the PS2 right now, which is already fantastic, and turn it into something like Battlefield or Halo, or I mean, just kind of make it look like that with that kind of feel and in-depth mo game modes and story. That would be amazing. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back in the game. I'm gonna fight General Grievous. Alright, get your fuck. Yep. Alright, let's go. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, ow. Shh. Ow. That, well, there goes episode three right there. Obi-Wan's dead. Luke Skywalker never becomes a Jedi. He hadn't learned to use the Force. He hadn't blow up the Death Star. That, that, uh, AT, whatever thing was humping the ground. Yep, yeah, Star Wars is over right there. Obi-Wan's dead. And a clone handles Grievous. That's... That's, that's one thing that would be that would love to be fixed in a Battlefront 3 is maybe I don't know, it seems like lightsaber combat is a little meh. I mean you can you it's kind of difficult to get through lightsaber combat with two different lightsaber guys Jedi and Sith or Grievous or whatever but then you get a clone to a guy with a lightsaber and because they it takes stamina to uh you know wield a lightsaber in defense uh you lose your stamina quickly. And you can't deflect as much. Come on, come on, just fucking oh, win right there. I destroyed it in my death. So definitely, link in the description. 
check out that Facebook page, like it, join the campaign. Trust me, we need this. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Jetpack! Ah, jetpack. Alright, let's take out this giant ass tower that wasn't here two seconds ago. Oh, nope. I don't even. I can't even see the health. So, where am I shooting at? I'm gonna get right here. I'm gonna get right up on you. Right up on you. Oh, shit. Well, falling. Oh, ammo. That's convenient. Alright. Uh, the, there's the energy. What is this fucking energy pillar? Okay. Oh, well, there's rockets flying around everywhere. Let's just jet back. Ah, so I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss the Clone Wars. You only have one more Clone Wars after this. I'm gonna miss it. I liked the Clone Wars. I liked the Clone Wars TV show. That was good. Like, I remember, you know, like, people complaining, like, Ugh, the movie sucked, and not like Star Wars, and too different, and not like change. And then the show came out, and it's like, holy shit, this is actually pretty good. So, yeah. Like I said before, Disney, get your head out of your ass, and start doing things the, fan want, the fans want. No one's gonna respect you until you start, you know, listening to your fans. Your fans are not stupid. Your fans are what keep you alive right now. They're the only thing that keep corporate corporations like you, Disney. They're the only thing that keep corporations like you alive. And if you're not going to listen to your customers, if you're not going to think, hmm, maybe they wanted Star Wars 1313. Maybe they wanted Star Wars Battlefront 3. Maybe they wanted the Clone Wars. Maybe this Episode 7 shit can wait a while until the Clone Wars is done. Or maybe they can work concurrently. You know, we can get... You know, animators and whatever on the Clone Wars, and actors and everything on Episode 7, and work together. In instead of creating fucking a show that's gonna be shitty, and then, uh, canceling it two, you know, two weeks later. And making Star Wars Angry Birds. You know, because if you don't if you don't start listening, it's, it's not gonna work. Okay? You're gonna go downhill, and I'm not gonna care. Because, frankly, you've kind of ruined Star Wars for me. So, yeah. Ending cuts death of General Grievous at the hands of General Kenobi... That's not how the power raid had broken the back of the separatists. Under normal circumstances, it would have been a time for celebration. But our next orders put paid to those thoughts. All right, so yeah, uh, kind of cheat here. I'm a sergeant. <laughs> I said I was supposed to do that at the end of the Clone Wars, but I'm, I'm too eager. So yeah, that was my rant about Disney. Sorry, it wasn't much of a Let's Play. It was more of a charity-driven thing slash Let's Rant about how much Disney's fucked up Star Wars. Alright, it's fun. And if you notice how fast this is, how fast the transition is between things, how non-laggy things tend to be, the sound is better, the loading screens are faster, you can thank FX Game Exchange. Fast buffing of discs at five bucks, and they have a great selection of games and fixed consoles and whatever. Seriously, check them out. And check out that Facebook page I told you about. Do everything I tell you. Give me money. Okay, you don't have to do that. No, you do. Just kidding. So, next time we end the Clone Wars and the Jedi Order. Operation Nightfall. I hate this level.